Hi everybody, today we're going to make some fun pop-up greetings cards to cheer some up during lockdown. Got a rainbow, using photographs, cutting things out of magazines and a watercolour technique. Okay, so first of all we're going to start with our rainbow card. I've chosen a black background, but you could use any colour. The first thing I'm going to do is fold my piece of card in half, like that. Then using the scissors, roughly halfway, it doesn't have to be that precise, just cut a slip like that and another slip like that to so get a tab. Then open the card up and push the tab forwards to so get that shape happening. Next we're going to make the rainbow. I've made a start on it as you can see. Now I'm going to cut it out. There we go, nice jolly rainbow. Who wouldn't love receiving that? Bit of glue on the back. There we go. Pop up rainbow. That's going to brighten up anybody's day, isn't it? Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make another fun little card using photographs. So you could use photos of people in your family or I've cut this funny guy out of the, a magazine just because I thought he, he would make a fun pop-up card and I've um, stuck it down to a piece of card and I'm going to cut that out and use him inside my pop-up. Okay so you'll need an image, a photo or something from a magazine, a piece of card which we're going to fold in half and two strips of card. Okay, and the first thing I'm going to do is take my two strips of card and lay them like that at right angles and I'm going to tape it like that. Okay. Then you start folding it back and forth. Okay, so you're going to fold that way and then that way. And then you fold it back down that way and across that way. Okay, I'm going to tape that again. Like that. And I've made a spring. So we're going to open up our card. Where should he go? Probably about there. Maybe. And you could either tape or use some glue. Okay, so I think my glue's dry. That spring doesn't look like it's going anywhere. And now I'm going to attach this chap to the other end. Bit of glue or sellotape if that's all you've got. Okay, and there we go. Fun little pop-up card. So let's see if it works. I'm going to close it up and then boing. You could write, some, you could do a speech bubble. I might do a speech bubble going like this. Saying Hi, Mum. 
also this final card might be fun to do with younger children who might find the paper folding a bit fiddly. Um, so I'm just going to take a piece of plain white card this time, fold it in half, and I'm going to use some electrical tape. Um, but you could use any kind of tape, probably not sellotape because that will set, stay stuck to the card. But if you've got masking tape or any of those decorative craft tapes that people use for making cards and crafting and stuff, that would work too. And I'm going to write the word hello in tape across here. Now it's probably a good idea to map out slightly where you're going to put your letters so you don't run out of room. Could write anything. You could put hi Nan. Could put your name. Here we go. Let's give this a try. precise lettering I've ever seen in my life but it doesn't matter because the fun bit is the colour. So I'm just going to use watercolour paint. Okay so now I've got my lettering on saying whatever you want it to say. I'm just going to put a wash of paint going down the page. to leave that to dry and then I'll take the tape off. Okay so now I'm ready to peel my tape off. Let's see if it worked. Yay it did. Oops I ripped mine a bit then. Should have slowed down. There we go. And there you go. Now you could just leave it like that if you're doing it with, with younger children or if older children are working with you as well they might like to further decorate their cards by putting some pattern into the, the lettering. Let's have a bit of fun with it. write your name in tape. These would be a great way to send thank you cards, especially at this time of year. 